All right, guys, we are back. You know who this is. This is Savadius. We're going to be taking a look, taking a look at this game called Albion Online. Yeah, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. Now, people were asking me, do, do, do you play any other games besides Diablo? I do. This is one of the ones I like. But you know what? There's a lot of different ways to play it. When I originally played this game, I did no fighting whatsoever. None. None at all. I was growing potatoes. So what I had is set up a little farm. Okay, let's take a look at the farm here. I have this farm, and I just grew vegetables and just had fun growing vegetables. And I pretty much had no other choice. Do you know why that is? Because I had so much lag. Yeah, I'm, I'm living here in Southeast Asia. I was on the North American server, and pretty much there was just so much lag, I could not even compete when it comes to PvP. So, what I did, every day, I just went out there, planted my vegetables, and then the next day, I went back there and picked the vegetables and made lots of money. So, this is actually kind of fun, though. It's kind of relaxing. It's basically Farmville 2.0. So those of you who like farming and that sort of stuff, you plant your vegetables, you can water your vegetables to make them grow faster. You take a look at this. You got 21 hours and 59 minutes left. You can add some water to it. And now that time is, it's still 29 and 50. So what's the difference you get? Well, you're gonna actually get some seeds back. So I'm gonna get six to 12 mushrooms here. And then I have 33% chance of getting seeds from the ones I have not watered. But the one I just watered, 166 chance, percent chance of getting seeds. All right, so what's so special about getting seeds? Well, seeds are expensive. So if you don't get your seeds back, you're going to have to go here and buy some more seeds. 3,000 silver for each. And it makes a difference when you're going up to the higher plants, 30,000 for a seed. So we're talking about nine seeds in each one of these plots. Now take a look at my island here. If we have like 10 plots times nine, that's a lot of seeds you gotta buy times 30,000 each. But let's skip the farmer mode and let's go to what everyone else does. They were like, God, you should get out there and fight. Do some PVP. All right, so let's go fight and let's go do some PVP. Let's hit out there right now. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna hop over to Limhurst and I'm gonna start fighting. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for fighting. Before you go fight, do one thing. This is going to give you a lot of bonus points. Before you exit the city, talk to this little guy. No matter what city you're in, there is a guy that will give you a faction flag. Now, I have a little green arrow next to my name. I'm representing this city. So now, no matter what I do, I'm collecting points or experience, or as this game calls experience, they call it fame. I'm collecting fame, and I'm collecting faction battle points at the same time. So let's go ahead and battle something. You know, there, yeah, there's lots of dogs, there's lots of trees. People are like, why are you skipping all those mobs? Well, here we go. Let's go fight a humanoid. And we see I got 1451 fame, and then I got a couple battle points or faction points as well. Let's fight a little wolf. Oh, this poor little wolfy. Okay, so we fight the wolf. 0.96 faction points. You can also skin their hides. 0 .0, 0 0.16 for that. Skinning the hides. That's something you can earn a lot of money from. You can, like, sell these. These are worth 1,700 silver right here. Uh, a lot of people tell you just go jump in the mist and you can earn lots. You know why I don't jump in the mist? Because you don't get faction points in the mist. If you have been faction flagged like I am, as soon as you jump in the mist, it's going to remove that faction flag. Let's get this pork skin. We got some medium hide here. We can sell this when we get back to the city. Now, we saw the wolf skins were 1,700. This group is 458. That's nothing, buddy. All right, so yeah. You know, Let's get a couple more. Medium hides. I'm getting tier four hides by skinning this. Skinning is a really good thing to do because you can also get like a cub, a pup, if you are skinning like, what are those that have that? Reindeer? What? You know, I really hate when I hop back on my mount because you know what it does? It resets. Look at this. 
the mob's health completely resets when you accidentally hop on your horse. So when you see the look of frustration on my face, it was because he just got his life back. And so try to fight just a little bit away from your mount so you won't accidentally jump on it and reset your mob. That happens to me quite a few times when I'm fighting like a boss. So go out here. I put my mouse over the mini map to see what that treasure was. If it was fiber, I could have actually used the fiber because I have a fiber stick here and I have a little knife stick here as well. Those are the two things I have skills in harvesting. But this one is granite. I have no skills in granite. And when the map shows you a little icon like that, that means there's some big fat treasure over there and that's gonna be worth a lot. So we should see a glowing granite. Hey, I don't see this glowing. Uh, oh, it's a little bit back. So when you zoom in, you could actually see it easier. There it is. I can't do this. I don't have that skill. But what I want to find is hide. Or I want to find the right finger to jump off my mount, which was A. I just completely missed that. What's this sparkling stuff? This is a solo dungeon. So this is actually nice. I like doing the solo dungeon sometimes. But before you go into a solo dungeon... Click on activities, and this tells you what gives you bonus for that day. So for today, we get bonus for hell gates. Oh, you guys want to do a hell gate? We should probably do a hell gate. Hell gates bring you some PvP. Now, if you die in this game in PvP, this is a full loot game. So if you take down an opponent, you can take everything they were carrying. If they take you down, everything you own belongs to them. And so what am I wearing right now? We have, let's take all my stuff off and see how much money they will get. Hold on, let's take this stuff off. So if I were to go down right now, the people who defeat me would basically get one million, one million worth of loot from me. That's not good. You don't wanna go down. There is a way to prevent that. There is a way. In order to prevent losing all of your stuff, you can listen to a streamer. There's a little not so well-known streamer out there by the name of Swole Benji. He usually tells you to only farm in the yellow regions. In the yellow region, if you're defeated, you don't lose everything you got. They can't take your loot in the yellow regions. If you're in the red region or black region, they can take your loot. So why would anybody in their right mind go to the black regions if you lose everything? Because the XP or the fame is so much higher in the black regions. It just makes you want to go there. You're going to level up. I spent some time here. I spent like one or two hours in the yellow zone. I went to the black region. Like 10 minutes, I had the same amount of fame is it took me hours in the other area. All right, so I get these people. I just smack them around a bit, and then I collect my fame. I don't collect it. Look, it's on the screen. It just automatically happens. I'm literally collecting nothing except for the silver that falls on the ground. All right, so this is pretty good, but we wanted a hell gate. No, no, was it a hell gate? Hold on, let me look at that again. I really don't want to... Hellgates, yeah, I'm not going to a Hellgate. I believe Hellgate takes two people. I don't know what I was thinking. We're not going to a Hellgate, people. I believe the lowest Hellgate is a 2v2 Hellgate. So you're going to need a friend. If I had a friend, I would do a Hellgate. I don't have a friend. Guys, can you be my friend? Drop me a message below if you can be my friend. As a matter of fact, if you would like to try this, if you want to try this title out, click my link below. You can actually download this game for free. Try it for free. Use my referral link there if you want to play the game. Right there in the description. So, I hope you guys like this. This is Albion Online. For those of you who are asking if there are any other titles that I play, I like to do just kind of walking around and having fun in this game. Not a hardcore, serious PvP player, but the game is fun. It's a nice, immersive world. Give it a try. This is, once again, what's my name, people? Oh, yeah. This is Savadius. I'm signing out. Download the game. Click my link below. See you next time, guys.